All right, first band I want to recommend is Monolith and their album Mountain. Uh, do you like old Ozzy? No? Okay. Well, this is excellent music anyway, so don't worry about that. Uh, there's a few songs, and even though I don't pump my fist at them, they still sound kind of like pop music from the 80s. Like, not pop music, but like music metal that would have gotten played on the radio in the 80s. And it's kind of interesting how good some of these songs are in terms of just being catchy and like having a very simple point. But how they're mixed in with other songs that have very solid messages, are very clear and not baiting around the bush, and are just a ton of fun to listen to. So uh, I heavily recommend at least checking out the tracks mentioned. And yeah, I I think that's that's about all I have to say about this band. So it's going to be track one is their titular named Mountains. And it's an excellent track. It's a bit long, but I hope you enjoy. Track three, High Horse. Uh, And that the name says everything about what the song's about, and I love it. Um, Track six, Lies and Deceit. And that is some straight up, like, talking about political leaders, like, straightforward. And it's wonderful. And as a song, it is so great to listen to. It's got a ton of passion in it. And track eight, Blackbird, which ton of it is just acoustic. Imagine like acoustic Ozzy Osbourne. It's pretty great. All right. Second album I want to recommend is by Russian Circles, and they have two albums on my list this week, Geneva. Uh, the YouTube link I provided is only 480p, so I recommend you get a much higher quality version because outside of some of the more clear sounds, that this band incorporates in their music, you're going to totally miss all the awesome nuance behind the band if you don't listen to it in a higher quality. Like, I really, it's like delicately mastered. Uh, yeah, so, so there's some hard hitting stuff in here, but for the most part, this band loves songs with crescendos and multiple acts and expressions of emotion and instruments that have their own voices and i'm constantly entertained like even when the music's going slower i'm just constantly entertained by the sounds that are being provided and and the pictures painted and this goes for both of the albums uh one more than the other geneva's a great great album uh so my recommendations are track two which is the with named geneva uh, track three, Melee, and track five, Mako. Um, these are not super short in some cases, and it's hard for me to even talk about the songs because music, it's music doing what music does best, which is expressing things that words cannot. And in that, I you know, it's really hard to talk about bands like this. I love Russian Circles. I really do. They're a band I keep going back to because they hit on so many notes throughout their songs. Um, like they're not just a one trick band and their different albums have very different themes. Okay. The second album by them I want to recommend is Empros. Uh, it is so hard for me to highlight any specific track on this album that I like more than another track. So yeah. And like the last one I just talked about, uh, each song is like this multi act story that leaves like really deep imprints on me of what the themes are supposed to be in the songs. It's awesome. It is an adventure to listen to this album. I I could go back I can go back to this album multiple times throughout the day and just get new things out of it every time. Especially if I'm doing something else. Like it's it it crescendos in and out and so when I listen to it while I'm doing other things, it has a completely different effect on me than if I just listen to it while I'm sitting down. It, they're both excellent. Like it's good for both of those things, which is why I've been getting so much listening out of it. Uh, so the tracks I will recommend are track one, which is three oh nine, and I, I specifically I want to say maybe go to the second half of track one is just so good. Please listen through it all. It's it's not a straight. It's like eight and a half minutes. So if you don't want to listen through it all, I don't know. Please don't skip ahead. But if you have to, listen to at least the second half of it to see the kind of sounds that this band does. Track two, Mladek. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just made up how I think it's pronounced. 
Um, and track six, Praise Be Man. So I want to really give a special note to Praise Be Man because I can show this to people that wouldn't like anything else that this band has to offer um, because it does something very specific. It's not even, it's the shortest track. I think it's yeah, four and a half minutes. And um, yeah, it's, it's so emotional. Like it's a really excellent song and it it does things with the music that I haven't heard any other band do and I'm really into it. Okay, last album I want to recommend is Rotor by Funf. Or I'm sorry, whoa, is the last track I want to recommend is Funf by Rotor. Um, don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right. This album was actually kind of a disappointment to me. Uh, when I f first was skimming through music, uh, I found this album and skimmed to some parts that I was really into, and that was cool. And then they were also a psychedelic rock band. I'm I'm okay with that. That, that could be good or bad. Um, but it still made for pretty good music to put on in the background and weld to during the week. Matter of fact, it fits better in like a shop environment for me than it does in anywhere else in my life. Um, I think that the songs on this album, this is also an instrumental band, were written in a way that would have benefited from having some vocals. I just don't think that the band offered enough like with the songs they would be like there there's like a lot of these songs only have maybe three main sounds that they're going for in each song and in those sounds there's very little texture the 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 instruments don't really have their own voices in a way that I would like in a lot of the songs there are a few that are pretty good um and most of my favorite tracks on this album are in the latter half of the album. And it's kind of cool because there's some like funky stuff. There's some like really aggro-y stuff. There's some jazzy melodies. There's some chunky riffs. And each song really does have its own personality. But is that personality interesting enough to keep my attention? Not usually, but it's good music nonetheless. Um, okay, so... I'm going to recommend track three. Okay, I just want to also say I, I probably can't pronounce any of this. Track three, Shiuzo, S-C-H-E-U-S-A-L, Shiuzo. That's really hard. Uh, track five, Volast, and I really want to give props to track five. Volast means monster, and it is like this really quirky and then sometimes aggressive song but by quirky i mean like it sounds like intro music from a show it, like like it's akin to the monsters or the jetsons and then but incorporated in a way that works amazing it's a great melody i i love this song track six octagon and track seven herengeg herengeg well listen german's not my thing okay Anyway, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to leave it off with uh, a disappointment album, but hey, like, so that's all I have to offer for this week. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing this every week because I listen to new albums literally every week. And even if I'm not listening to a new album, old albums I listen to, I might recommend different tracks simply because I have a different view on that album or that band now and I've developed different ideas. So thank you so much for watching and be excellent to one another. Take it easy.